peace and blessings and let God's mercy, all of his grace, all of his favors follow you and chase you all the days of your life, blessing your body and blessing your mind, healing your very soul and protecting you for we are supposed to stand behind our God and fly in the back of his wings for his greatness for he is a worthy God. We don't have to be great. Our God is great. The God we serve of Abraham, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is great. Just by standing in his shadow, we become more as he is. All glory given to Yah, the God of the heavens and the earth. Now, family, I, family, it's your brother Jehosi Yah Israel, and I'm, I'm here. And the house that God has made. And I just want to be I just want to be very clear with all my brothers and sisters out here in the world just to let you know why people act the way that they act is because we don't have any corporal punishment for those same behaviors. We don't have to sit here as citizens across this whole globe and lock all these people up and pay all these tax dollars we don't have to do anything like that what we need is corporal punishment i am a i am a i'm a very believer in corporal punishment because my god he taught me he said for a man or a woman not all not every but for a man and a woman to act right you have to beat them that's what god the god of your bible that's what he said, family, because people are bad and people are hard headed. They are. They like to get into a lot of different things. So God, he said, you have to beat them. And, you know, so-called African-Americans, when we actually had a king of greatness like King David, he was all about making the people pay for their actions. Let me give you a couple examples. Now, I could only pull stock from the medieval ages, but it, it's still the same, family. It's still the same. Corporal punishment. Now, you didn't seen this picture before. Corporal punishment, family, is something that we had in the early 1900s, the early 1800s. I hope they bring it back. I really do, family, because that's the only how people would act right examples you know what i'm saying examples uh somebody break into somebody home and they still they stuff what do you do jehosa what is your corporal punishment family we don't even need the cat of nine arms i bet you if i got one of those whips that you see them hitting the horses with all them whips and stuff when the when the cows be all bunched in and sometimes they got a they got a hit they got to hit the bull with the whip, family. I get one of those whips, family. I take that person, or let's say let's say the law. The law takes that, the, the community, because it's all of us, because we all got to follow all of these, these rules anyway. So it's the community. The community gets you and tie you to a tree and hit you with that damn whip 37 times, because God said if you hit a man, a woman 40 times that would be wrong and it'd be a curse it so you would probably bring a cur he said that's wrong he said it's wrong to hit a man with a whip 40 times but 37 is good family 30 i can hit a man 37 said 37 times with that whip family and i wouldn't be in trouble by god by it family now that man broke in that person house and we hit him with that whip family that whip is supposed to hurt that man so much to where it takes several months for him, for that man to recover for what he has done. Can you imagine that? That's how bad it would be when that person bring that whip. You already tied up to that damn tree and that person sit there and hit you with that whip 37 times, family. It's supposed to drain you of all your life. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be injured. After that, them people were injured for months. You know what I'm saying? They took months and months and times to heal back. So you tell me, would they be breaking in somebody's house trying to steal if they had to get hit with the cat of nine? Nope, nope. It's not even the cat of nine irons. They're not a slave. They're in the community. 
but to get hit with one of those whips that they be using on the horses or on the bulls. That'll that 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 shred the human body, you know what I'm saying, to pus and blood, family. Straight up, straight up confetti, family, that whip, family. It'll take a long time, family, for you to heal back up again. All the, all the new social behaviors that you're seeing people doing. Y'all seen this? Family, what did this person do to where the punishment or the corporal punishment of this time would be for them to put you in a large sack and put in that sack all these different creatures that's going to attack you and then throw it in the ocean, family? Throw it in the ocean. You're not coming back after this. You know what I'm saying? So that would have to be like the baddest thing. What did that what did that person do of that time? Did they kill somebody? Did they steal money? What was it? They knew for a certainty if they did whatever it was, what they did, this would be the result. That's what people need in modern day because jail ain't good enough for some people. It is not family. It's not the same family. The jails of the Bible family was an actual dungeon to where they they worked you like your ancestors, your great great grandfathers and your great grandmothers. Because you're the descendants of slaves. So. Back in those days, family, they didn't feed the prisoner. They didn't try to give them clothes. They was in there eating rats and roaches, family. Starving, family. Them people didn't get it. They didn't, they didn't. And then, not only, family, not only did they have to sit up there and work their butt off. They didn't even eat. And they was beaten, family. Now, if everybody knew that jail was like that, and that's what you're going to get guaranteed whenever you infract the law. The, the law against the communities. You know what I'm saying? Against the people. When you infract these laws, this is what you looking at. Family, look, 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 brothers and sisters. And, you know, I just got to get this off my chest. I'm, I'm in my anointed time, so, I'm, you know, I'm in my area, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stomping on nobody or nothing like that. But look at the people who get under people's cars and take off their Cadillac converters. We caught that person, and then we tied them up all day long to a tree family we didn't hit that person we didn't we didn't beat up the person we didn't spit on them we didn't call them harsh like we didn't do nothing to that person but the penalty for whatever that person did they got to be tied up to a tree all day even at nighttime family even at nighttime the next day we're gonna come back and we're gonna un unchain you now if you're alive you're alive if you ain't alive then family that person ain't alive, you know what I'm saying? They ain't alive like that. So the person that they stole the Cadillac converter, do you think they gonna go pay him a visit? Exactly, family. Exactly. God said that a man or a woman has to be beaten. The the bad the, the bad ones of us, family. They have to be beaten for them to act right, family. So you know your brother, I've been beat a lot in life. Is that right? I act the way I act? Uh, I love your God, so I'm going to continue to follow after his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his limitations, his precepts. Could you imagine, family, how different the world would be, family, with all the crime that we see in modern time? If we brought more. OK, OK, I seen the judge and the lady. She it would. OK, this is this is the whole this is the whole get down. OK, the school bus pulls up every single day at 4 30 to pick the kids up the lady was so impatient that she drove on the sidewalk and there and they had her license place her license plate number and they found the lady and she had to be seen before a judge the judge made her stand outside with a sign on her chest that says I will not drive on the sidewalk I'm a dummy for doing this and doing that and she had to do that for like 30 days Public shaming is awesome, family. It is. Corporal punishment is even better, family, because God said you have to beat a man. Okay, okay, God said for the children that you have to raise a child in the way to go for, for when they get older, they're not going to depart. That's like telling somebody the truth, and they know it's the truth, so they're going to believe it, and they're going to stand on it. Yes, 
Yes, family. You know what I'm saying? So to me, the the corporal punishment, it has to align with the crime. But if we pulled out that cat of nine arms and brought back the shaming of it all, family, the punishment in the public's eyes, even if it's just even if it's getting whipped, family, a lot of if you sit up there and you beat your wife, family, you sit up there and you beat up your wife. Well, we, it's a public punishment that we're going to give to you. And. It's going to take you a while to get back. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take you a while to get back. I was thinking about it. When when the people go out there and they be they be raping on people and they be raping on the children, do you know what I would do to you, family? Do you know what I would do to that person? They like to rape? No. It's, it, God, he sends a, a cruel, evil messenger after a person. Okay, I got to do something the same. This community has to do something the same. We going to send somebody on you that really like to rape. And guess what? You're going to have to endure that for 10 years of your life. You're going to have some friends, family. You're going to have some boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? They're going to really, 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 really like you. I'm going to listen to their strategies of the plan of what they're going to do to you. But after that time, will that man go out there and try to rape somebody else? I believe in castration, family. I really do, family. I believe that if a man want to go out there doing something like that and the law is on the books that we're going to castrate you, then damn it. I I'll make it even worse for you, family. I'll give you a sex change, family. You ain't going to be able to do no, no child like that no more or any other body, family. And if that was the law that was on the books of the shaming, also with the corporal punishment, how much do you think people would change in this country? How much do you think people would change worldwide? family in some countries right now if you still an apple you heard this when you was in school you still an apple there cut off your damn hand you really got to be hungry to where you want to throw one of your hands away for an apple family i'm just saying family you know what i'm saying you get caught the little get kid get caught in the market and it's just an apple but they took his whole hand i believe in corporal punishment i, I i'm not ashamed to sit up here and act like I feel bad for telling my brothers and sisters that I like the death, the death, um, I'm sorry. I, I don't really like how they put somebody on that, uh, that parole all the way leading up. They'd be like, well, you know, and you know, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Because those people, they get told when they gonna die. That's like messing with a person's psyche and their mental right there inside of them. Like, what do you mean? We're going to keep this person alive all the way to the 87. Then we're going to kill them on their birthday. So I can't be mad at them. That's the, that's the law that was on the books. So I can't say anything about it. But the death penalty, I believe in that family. The electric chair, a lethal injection, because this have to be the principles that's put before for people to act right. Now, I would suggest that the person be beaten because God said you really have to beat a man. You have to beat a man for a man to act right, family. So I don't see nothing wrong, family. And you see back in the days, family, they was doing all kind of stuff. They was throwing people. They was throwing people up in pots, boiling them. They was doing all kind of stuff to people, family. They was because what, what, what was that person doing? What did they get caught doing? They knew damn well, family. They knew damn well if they get caught, this was the punishment. Everybody knows this, family. Everybody knew this, family. Of that time, family, if it's 1700s, if it's 1600s, family, they all knew this, family. All of them, family. So I don't see a problem with it, and I think it should be more things like this that to have people acting. Can you imagine, family? Could you imagine, family? Theft. Theft would already go all the way down because ain't nobody trying to get beat for that stuff like that. It is not. They, they not, family. The, the way that you're supposed to beat a man, because remember what I told you. God, he said it's wrong to beat a man with 40 lashes, but 37 is just good. He ain't even tripping off of 37. And that 37, family, should be life-changing to some people if they don't change their ways. That would change a lot of certain different things, family. It would, family. Uh, uh, death row, I, I think it's good, family. I, 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 think it, I think it really is good, family. But it's a shame that 
And remember, you have to be proven. It's got to be it's got to be circumstances surrounding 100 percent without a doubt that you was the person that did that. You know what I'm saying? You can't get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because that person really did that. DNA evidence, um, people that was on the scene, forensic evidence, video, all that, family, all that. It was proven that they did that. And this is the punishment for what they get. And then the social order of things of how people, uh, how they treat each other. All these, all these things would change, family. If everybody could get on that chopping block and get their ass whooped if they, if they not ask if they not acting right. A lot of different things about people and the interactions and the relationships, the quality of life, all these things would change, family. You don't want to see my prison, family. It looks like a dungeon, family. Then they're working out, family. Then they're working out. They're doing all kind of stuff, family. You would not have no time to be doing none of that because you would be chained up to the wall, family. They'd be like, damn, it is a, it's a dungeon, family. That's what they call it, family. All them horrible things was happening up in there. They couldn't even imagine, family. They couldn't even imagine the real life of how that stuff looked and what was happening in all them different places to them, to them people like that. Straight up, pain being inflicted for people to act right. All right, I'm going to leave y'all alone. Peace and blessings be to your night. All glory be given to Yah.